Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick with the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 3x as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now I have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. So now I'm going to let y equal 2 to the power of x. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y equals 10. Now if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to replace y with 5y minus 4y minus 10 is equal to 0. So now it's going to be much easier to factor this out. So now if I factor out y from y to the power of 3 plus 5y, I get y squared plus 5. And then now if I factor out, sorry, now I'm actually going to rewrite the order of this to y to the power of 3 minus 4y plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y from y to the power of 3 minus 4y, I get y times y squared minus 4. And then now if I factor out 5 from 5y minus 10, I get 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now y squared minus 4, this is the same thing as y plus 2 times y minus 2. So I have this times 5 minus y, times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times y times y plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. And now I have y minus 2 times y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is add 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And now I'm left with y is equal to 2. But I remember how y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And since we know that y equals 2, I have 2 to the power of x equals 2. And the only possible value of x is 1. So this is one solution of x. Now for y squared plus 2y plus 5, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now in this case, a is 1, b is 2, and c is 5. So I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, because 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5, all over 2. And now this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20. And 4 minus 20, this is equal to the square root of negative 16, and this is actually negative, meaning this would not work out because you can't take the square root of a negative number. So my only solution is x equals 1. All right, so I have x is equal to x over 3. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x over 3 on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out. And now I'm going to be left with x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 is equal to 0 times 3. Well, 0 times any number is simply going to be 0. So 0 times 3, that's 0. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 
is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna go ahead and evaluate three times x minus x over three. So to do this, I'm gonna multiply three by all the terms in the parentheses, three times x, that's three x, and three times negative x over three, that's simply gonna be negative x because these two threes cancel out. So now I have three x minus x is equal to zero. Now, 3x minus x, that's simply equal to 2x. So now I have 2x equals 0. And now this is pretty simple to solve. All I need to do is divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is simply 0. So this is my answer. Now to check, I had x is equal to x over 3. And now my, the value of x is 0. So now I have 0 is equal to 0 over 3. 0 divided by any number is simply 0. So now I have 0 equals 0. And because this is right, I know my solution is right. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98. So first off, 100... This is the same thing as 98 plus 2. 99, this is the same thing as 98 plus 1. And 98, that's the same thing as 98. So now if I replace these in for 199, I get 2 to the power of 98 plus 2 minus 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 98 plus 2, let's first start with that, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1. And 2 to the power of 98, we're simply going to leave that by itself. We're not going to change that. So now from here, you can see that all three of these terms have 2 to the power of 98 in them. So now if I factor out 2 to the power of 98, I get 2 to the power of 98 times, well, 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 98, simply 2 to the power of 2. And now negative 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 98 is negative 2 to the power of 1. And finally, negative 2 to the power of 98 divided by 2 to the power of 98 is negative 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So now this gives me 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And 4 minus 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2. And I have minus 1. Now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 98 times 4 minus 2 is 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have 2 to the power of 98 times 1. And this is simply equal to 2 to the power of 98 because anything times 1 is itself. So this is my answer.